All right, guys, I got an update for you on my M18 Milwaukee battery uh, system that I'm running here. As you can see, we're at about 18.7 volts. Um, the Echo Map says it's good up to 18 volts. When I talked to Garmin, you know, they said there's some grace, a uh, little bit of a, you know, variance in there. So uh, I've had no issues at all. Fully charged Milwaukee M18 is 20 volts. I ran on it for hours and hours uh, with no issues. Obviously, this is in the simulator mode here. Um, so I'll show you what I got. This is the adapter you can buy off Amazon. And what I did here is I have these. These are heat shrink. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. Heat shrink solder. So what it is is a low temperature solder inside here. Uh, these are really nice to use. I use them on my trucks all the time. You can get them on Amazon. They're going to come in a box like this. Um, really cheap. I don't know, maybe 10 bucks for a whole kit. So that's that part of it. I don't know, I'm holding the camera here. So it's a little tricky. I'll show you the back part. What happens is you have to space this up with this piece of wood and it gives a nice mount thing. So I just traced the bottom of the old battery. I think it's like 3.75 by 6 inches. And then that's going to do there. It's just going to slip right down in to that spot. I don't know if you can see it or not. I put a couple pieces of foam on the bottom of it. That's just some old um, insulation for putting down like laminate flooring. I stapled it to the bottom because this is three quarter. Really, the, the inset for this is one inch. So I just cut the board so it fits really snug. And that's going to fit in there nice. You got to keep it close to the front of the board. Otherwise, it interferes with this kind of stuff back here. Um, and that'll stay in there nice. What I did was I took and I wired into the charging port here. And I left these battery connections here in case I wanted to put a lithium ion in there or something else. Keep a backup of some other kind of battery. I can easily plug that in. Not to mention... Uh, on my boat by my trolling motor here, I wired in a separate one um, for 12 volts. That way when I'm on the boat with it, I can just plop the unit down there and still work it fine. Um, so I can show you here. It's going to shut the unit off when I do it, but it um, comes out easy. This has got, what, three-quarter bars on it still. I ran that for about four hours the one day. Uh, so plenty of life left on it. I'll leave the link for this guy. It fits nice, it clips nice, it's got four mounting holes. Um, seems like it's gonna be a good unit. I'll update more when I have more information, but uh, that's about 17 bucks for that unit there on Amazon.